You're live right now? Yes, I'm live right now. Oh, so you, Why is this? I look terrible. No, you're God. Not. You're very pretty. Yeek. Um, so that. we're out for, <laughs> we're out for a drive, um, picking up some stuff and I was just educating my honey so. on something that I look at whenever I'm driving in the winter. I think winter is one of the best times to buy a house because you can tell a lot about the insulation um, from just driving around. So I never would have thought of this. So, so you, we're yeah. just driving in Rochester. So it's, first of all, it's 20 degrees outside. And if you look at houses, especially when it's really cold like this and there's snow on the roof. They did a good job. Good job insulating. If you see a house Ooh, where there's- like old house. Yeah. So especially no old houses, no snow on the roof. They're having heat loss from, oh, they're from that. a lot of money. Yeah. So um, it's a great time to look at houses because of this. And the other thing you want to look for is icicles. Icicles show warm spots on the roof that are melting the, um, you know, melting the snow and the ice. And then it's refreezing once it hits the, once it hits the cold. So good insulation there. Good insulation there. You can tell a little bit around the vent pipes where they're getting heat loss. Good insulation but the there. But the other thing, too, that we were talking about is it's not only a good time to, in, in order to buy a house, but also right. to look at your own home. Like, yeah, look at your own house. If so, you're like, that guy's got no snow on his roof, he's, that's costing him money. That's costing him a lot of money, yeah. so He's, he's uh, losing all that heat. I live in a, I live in a condo, and I, this is a good example. When I first bought my condo, I... You know, it was it was almost new. It was in great shape, almost new. And I, my first year, my heating bill was astronomical. So I had a home energy audit done. Of course, metal roofs are a whole different story. Um, but you can tell the unheated parts of houses also, um, or garages and old houses by looking at the snow. Anyway, so I was... Um, good insulation. Yeah, good insulation. My house the first Bad year... Look at that. Good insulation, <laughs> bad. Like, yeah. boom. They're spending a shit ton of money on on eating that. Yeah, no snow on the roof, right? Especially right now, it's 20 degrees outside. You know, we've had some sun, but the sun is at its weakest right now, so it's not really melting a lot. Um, you know, you're getting heat loss. Anyway, so so my that. heating bill was astronomical in my first year in my condo. I had a home energy audit done, and um, Jeff St. Pierre from STP Home Performance did it, and. He said that it was like having a 40 inch by 40 inch hole cut in the side of my house all the time. Wow. That's what my heat loss was. So they went in and I had re-insulated. So you can see up here, this is probably unheat or this is probably heated and some of that's probably unheated in that building. Yeah, it looks like storage. Um, anyway, so the 40 inch by 40 inch hole and I had already added more insulation in my attic. It wasn't an insulation issue. It was a heat loss issue. They went in, took all the insulation out, sprayed where I was having heat loss and then um, put some more insulation in and it made a huge difference. So now on my condo building, so you can tell like these people are getting heat loss here. Um, so now on my condo building, when you look at my unit, I always have snow on my roof. I have no icicles. The unit next to me, no snow and they get four foot long icicles. So it's amazing the difference. And again, it's not insulation all yeah, the so time what, so you can see that, that this is probably unheated garage yeah. i wonder what that equates to in terms of like money lost did the the audit that you did come with cost savings i don't like, remember it was years ago it was years ago yeah, so you can curious. so anyway that's um, my little tip for when you're driving around in the winter time especially if you're looking to buy a house how do you insulate a cape with a full dormer built in 1973 um so what we did was had it, and it, again it wasn't about insulation it's about heat loss so it's about the the actual warm air escaping um and it was it was a matter of just spray foaming so you can just go up with a can of spray foam and if you can find right. you know if you have access it's the full dormer i know that's the hard part so i mean really short of pulling down um sheetrock probably which is probably not an well, they ideal also situation cut, they also cut, cut small holes in yep the sheet and they'll rock blow, and blow in yeah um, I highly recommend, yeah, no access. I highly recommend getting a home energy audit because those guys are professionals at it. And they, uh, they also advise on different rebates. So I got a big rebate with the state of Maine that year. 
Um, so you can tell this is new construction. Obviously, it's probably not heated at all right now, so they've got lots of snow. That's on. what you want to look for. Yeah. And if you're complaining about your heat bill. Yeah, if your heat bill your, is high and you have no. Your electric bill and you're bitching on Facebook. Oh, my. Honey. You know, well, you know what I mean. You yeah. hear it all the time. Like, yeah. oh, my electric bills. This is ridiculous. The rates have gone up. Well, maybe they didn't go up. Or maybe oil, you're just, yeah. You, maybe you're just losing your, you might be, your heat. Yeah, you might be losing heat. So take a look at your roof. If you have snow on your roof right now, it's 19 degrees outside. There's no reason to have melted, melted roofs. Your roof should always be cold. Cold roof, healthy roof. Nice. All right, that's all I got for that you. Was a good, that was a good little slogan. Oh, thank you.